Hi there and welcome to Happy Connection Day. I'm Antje Boyd, founder of howtofindtherightman.com and co-founder of the Find the One Summit. And today we are talking about why connection is the new sexy. Oh yeah, baby. So let's first talk about what is connection because I'm telling you so many women don't know what connection really is, what it really entails. So connection really means you are connecting, you are really communicating, you're in touch with another person in which you share authentically what you are feeling, either about the other person, about what's going on in your life, but you allow the other person into your world. And I know that if you watch this video, you're not doing that. And here's why connection is so important and therefore sexy, right? Because if you don't connect, the symptom is that you're also not connecting with yourself right and if you don't connect with yourself you automatically attract men who don't you make you feel like disconnected who make you feel like you're not being met who make you feel like empty not cared for so you really want to pay attention to your connection patterns so we're going to talk about how to start connecting again three tips on why, why attraction, connection is so important and how it actually also leads to attraction as well when you do it in a balanced way and how, in, how you can actually take the first steps. So tip numero uno is really connect, like I said before, with yourself. Assess how connected are you to your body, to your heart, to your pussy, how connected are you? Not just to your head, but to your body. Can you tell me right now what you feel and where in your body you feel that? I remember in the beginning when I started dating, I could not, I had to think about what I was feeling. And I always ended up being frustrated when people would ask me, where in your body do you feel this emotion? And I never knew because, frankly, I was so disconnected from myself. Tip number two is to trust your connection and to feel into it. Oftentimes what happens is we start to feel a sense of uncomfort, a sense of resistance, a sense of sometimes even awkwardness. And we start to question ourselves out of it right we start to doubt ourselves out of it and not take it seriously as a signal and so the tip is to really connect to listen if to your vulnerability if your awkwardness had a voice whereas a persona what would that look like what would that awkwardness tell you right now what its message is and the same is true for your sadness, for a level of embarrassment. What is that voice? What is that message that I would communicate to you? And number tip number three is, of course, to make a list of all the people that you don't communicate with on a regular basis or you just communicate with to a certain level, but then you stop. And that is really your homework to post in the box below, in your comment box, how consistent are you communicating or how deep are you communicating? What threshold do you notice? What level do you allow people into your world, into your internal emotional world? And to what extent do you actually stop communicating or you stop the pattern and you kind of check out and then maybe check back a couple of weeks later? 
So what is that for you? So really, you really want to observe that carefully and uncover some blind spots that I know you have when you watch this video. So I hope this video helped you enormously to see and to acknowledge the importance of connection and why connection is the new sexy. And what happens is when you don't communicate when you don't connect regularly, that's when anxiety kicks in, right? Every time we're out of balance, that's when the anxiety kicks in. But if you're consistent with your connection, you actually feel at balance. You feel more at your equilibrium. If that's something that's really you're struggling with, with being vulnerable, with more accessing, what does that mean to connect with myself? I invite you to come on a one hour long phone call with me, my find the right man discovery call where we go deeper and we are uncovering what keeps you from connecting to yourself, to your emotions, to the man or the people in your life that you want to connect with. What's your internal dialogue about that? And we can create a strategy and possibly a program around how it's going to serve you moving forward so you can actually have your soulmate and the right partner in your life. So I know that you are having an urge to change something, to transform your conversation, your connection with yourself. So I invite you to go to my website, howtofindtherightman.com, howtofindtherightman.com and sign up for my complimentary Find the Right Man discovery session where we uncover all of the blind spots that keep you from connecting. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Connect with yourself. Connect with the people around you. Look at them. Take a moment and deeply look at them. And I see you next time. Take care. Mwah.